வார்த்தையும்ேவன் <laughs> Lord, give us ears to listen and incline our hearts to be obedient to you. Umakki keel padithilullu oor aviyai tharum. And may you enrich each and every one of our spiritual lives. May your teaching fall like rain, your words descend like dew, like showers on new grass and abundant rain on tender plants. Let it revive, renew and restore us, O oh God. And Lord, remove all distractions from us and help us to understand all. what you want us to know in jesus name we pray amen in the kadaisi moonru varamaga starting from november 5th and 12th and um, of course 19th pona varam vande thanksgiving service in the nalla we had a small gap i started this kind of a series called god's order and design and the study is on first corinthians 11 நாம் என்ன படித்து படித்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் என்றால் ஒன்று குருந்தியர் பதினொன்றாவது அதிகாரத்தை நாம் படிக்கிறோம் ஐந்தாவது தேதியும் பனிரெண்டாவது தேதியும் நான் என்ன செய்தேன் என்றால் ஐந்தாம் தேதி வந்து நான் செய்தது வந்து ரிமெம்பரிங் ஆர் சேவியர் அண்ட் லார்ட் அப்பொழுது பின்பகுதியை நாம் ப நாம் படித்தோம் பதினேழாவது வசனத்திலிருந்து இருபத்தி ரெண்டாவது வசனத்தில் வரைக்கும் என்ன நாம் கற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்று அதிலே வந்து இந்த மூன்று காரியங்கள் இருக்கிறது வி ஆர் வென் பீப்புள் கேம் டுகெதர் டியூரிங் தட் டைம் வென் தே மெட் டுகெதர் இட் வாஸ் அ லவ் ஃபீஸ்ட் எல்லாரும் வந்து குடும்பமாக சேர்ந்து வந்து சாப்பாடு எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்டார்கள் அந்த முடிவிலே தான் கர்த்தருடைய பந்தியிலே அவர்கள் பங்கு பெற்றார்கள் தட் வாஸ் த பேட்டர்ன் தட் தே ஃபாலோட் அண்ட் வாட் வாஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் டியூரிங் தட் டைம் விச் பால் வாஸ் நாட் கமெண்டிங் தெம் ஹீ வாஸ் நாட் ப்ரைசிங் தெம் ஹீ வாஸ் ஆக்சுவலி rebuking them and saying i cannot praise you because you have groupism you are discriminating people based on education and status and also based on their spirituality levels you have been executing you have been discriminating people so basically what he saying is nam kartrudeya pillegalaga nam ondraga varum bolude nam paagu paadu vindri nam irukka vendum we cannot discriminate based on any factor that's number 1 second what we do is we remember the lord's death how do we remember the lord's death through the death resurrection and uh, to the uh, and the coming back other than kartrudeya pandi patti solla padigirathu that whenever you take part in the body and the blood of the lord jesus paul said you proclaim the lord's death until he comes back again so in between நாம் கத்தருடைய மரணத்தை நாம் நினைவு கூறுகிறோம் அவர் திரும்பி வர காத்திருக்கிறோம் நடுவில் என்ன நடந்திருக்கிறது அவருடைய உயிர் தெழுதல் ஹி ஹஸ் ரிசன் அகேன் அண்ட் இஸ் அ லிவிங் சேவியர் ரைட் நவ் ஹூ இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன் அவர் மிட்ஸ் ஸோ வி ரிமெம்பர் தட் எஸ் த்ரூ இஸ் டெத் வி ஹாவ் த கிஃப்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபர் கிவ்னஸ் ஆஃப் சின்ஸ் வி நோ தட் தட் ஹஸ் பீன் டேக்கன் கேர் ஆஃப் த பெனல்டி ஹஸ் பீன் பெய்ட் அண்ட் நாட் ஓன்லி தட் ஹி பை ரைசிங் அகேன் ஃப்ரம் த டெட் he has victoriously defeated satan and all of his 
work. So we know that we have that hope of resurrection. And when, that, when will that happen? When he comes back again. Moonravdi, remember not to desecrate the Lord's Supper. So, you know, Mukhya Maga or Ipode Enna Cholugara Rendra, Ningal Kartori Pandile, Varum Bolude, Ningal Vanda, they want to go to Sambra, they are Maga Chuma or a traditionaga Pana Kuda. It's not a ritual, but you need to come to uh, the Lord's Supper with a repentant heart. Manan Thrumbudal, Manan Thrumbugira or Yirde Thod, Vanda Panavin, Venandra, and the ritual Kundi, any ritual that we do has a meaning. So the Passover was a ritual that God himself instituted. Why? With the meaning so that you will remember what happened in Egypt. Egypt And Egypt promised land whatever, uh, whatever ritual that they had to do on the last day to avoid the angel of death from coming where the blood of the lamb will be on the doorpost, and the kariyate nineu kurumbadiyaga Passover and ran the pandigaye karta the Yahweh undu paninar. Are they even Jesus was observing Passover every year he was on this earth, but he did a new thing just before he went. Aurodiya maranath kumunbadaga and the Passover leir kumbolide. He took all of those elements and he said, you know what? You look at all of these elements. We've been doing this for all of these years. Now this bread is my broken body. Now this cup that we are drinking. So I did a very quick review of that. And this November 12th, what we did was God's order and design. And I wanted to speak on two aspects. But because of time, I did only one aspect on November 12th. And today I'll be doing... The second aspect. So what did we do on November 12th? Thanksgiving Turkey And the Turkey the Turkey Indian Turkey American Turkey But the most important thing is in the Varshamo, President on the Turkey pardon Pani Vitar. Angio Manipu, Manipurke, and the Manipu and the Rendi Turkiki, Manipoda Poyache, on royal life on the two Poitanga, but Ningala Manikevela Turkia. La Dichi, Thin Mudichi, Ella on the Kringa, and those marking Anna Iniki, Anala Ninga on the end of Urmadi and Yarkun Teria, Anala and Tripia, they present the Pani Mudichi to Poitirla. Yar Yavurke. So, the pastor is very easy. If you have a gap, you can't get a gap. 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 But anyway, 12th, um, we wanted to talk about Mother um, Pagadi. Mother of the Sanitan. Padinara the Vasanavari, but Indrakinam, Auntie Armiaga Vasita Pagamum, other Kuria Karutai Konda Ade Pagadidan. The same principles are being repeated in Ephesians also by Paul. Ebesir Lum, Ade Karutakal Chuligra, Agavedan, and the Ebesir Pagadi or Paditargal. So we will touch on that. But what did we study uh, on uh, November 12th and 11, 1 through 16? Order of authority. When God created humanity in his design and creation, there was a pattern that he followed and he established it for the good of society. And the established pattern and our break panamulu if you have a person who is 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 a we have to ask very important questions. And what are those questions that you need to ask? Have we broken God's order and design? Because he has very clearly established it. This is how it's going to be. There is no negotiation here. There is no debate. God did not say, okay, come, let me, dis- let me come talk with you. Okay, can I do this? Can I do this? You put it on the 
ஆண்டவர் கேட்டிருந்தா நம்ம நிறைய சஜஷன் கொடுத்துருப்போம் உட்காந்த இடத்துலேருந்து சஜஷனா இப்ப இப்படி தான் பண்ணணும் ஆண்டவரை நீங்க இப்படி பண்ணிருக்க கூடாது ஆண்டவரை நீங்க இப்படி பண்ணிருக்கணும் நம்ம சஜஷன் எல்லாம் கொடுத்துருப்போம் ஆண்டவருக்கு நல்லா தெரியும் அதனால தான் நீங்க யாரும் எந்த சஜஷன் எனக்கு கொடுக்க வேணாம் நான் பண்ணிட்டு ஐ திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு ஐ ஹாவ் டிசைன்ட் ஐ ஆம் காட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஆர்டர் தட் நீட்ஸ் டு பி ஃபாலோட் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஃபாலோ திஸ் ஆர்டர் அண்ட் திஸ் டிசைன் வை யூ வில் ஹாவ் பீஸ் அண்ட் ஹார்மனி இன் யுவர் லைஃப் it's not to hurt us god knows who we are as humanity he knows how feeble we are how weak we are nam eppadi aandavar aandavar da nammai srishtichirukkaranal nam eppadi irupom nu theriyum so what is god's order and design we are going to read verses 1 through 6 இத இத எந்த இடத்துல ஆண்டவர் பவுல் பேசுகிறார் என்றால் there was this cultural practice of covering the head and praying and this is what he is talking about i praise you for remembering me in everything and for holding on to the traditions just as i pass them on to you but i want you to realize that the head of so modalaga traditions endu sollumbodhu odane ayyo samrudayangale prathi pesrar illa he is talking about the teachings that he delivered the teaching and the principles that paul delivered to the church which is what he is expecting them to follow he is saying i thank you for remembering that but i want you to realize that the head of every man is christ so the head of every man is christ and the head of the woman is man ange button and the head of christ is god see i put that in red because last the previous time when i spoke about it i did not even mention that because through that we are going to understand the second principle if I, the question that you and i are going to ask is so is god under christ uh, no christ is under god so we thought that they are one equal now you are saying in the scripture also he says and the head of christ is god Yes, Christian, you are the one who is the one who is the one. So is there a hierarchy right there? So headship and authority. So it's not only talking about, oh, somebody is there at the source. So um, woman came from man or uh, after man he was created. He's talking about the created order also. And then man is under Christ and Christ is under God. How do you tell him about it? it's when it's talking about the headship because the word that is being used is and uh, you want, i want you to realize head of every man is christ the head of every woman is man and the head of christ is god in the chalum bolude it talks about headship and authority and the and the headship in the chalum bodu or authority irukirathu so there is an authority for a man over a woman there is an authority of christ over man and there is the authority of god over christ that is the order goes on to say we'll touch on another cultural aspect with the patient every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head every woman who prays or prophesies jabitalo tirka de solong with the head uncovered dishonors her head it is the same as having her head shaved for if a woman does not cover her head she might as well have her hair cut off but if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off or head shaved then she should cover her head so idu vande it's talking about the covering of the head while praying or prophesying nam vande sila per vande nam india sabayil endu varum bolude back home in india you know it is a cultural practice in the churches and i think it is yeah i mean earlier during those days it was but i right now i do not know in the Uh, current independent churches whether they still cover their heads or not i don't know or it also uh, denomination purut irukke or pentecostal denomination pona or other people may not uh, cover the head but one of the other cultural practices that we have all broken ipo in india la irukumbodu at least there are certain churches certain denominations where men have to sit on one side women have to sit on one side அந்த மாதிரியான ஒரு கல்ச்சரல் ப்ராக்டிஸ் இருந்துச்சு இப்போ வந்து எல்லாரும் ஒன்றா உட்காரலாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி இருக்கு ஸோ த பிரின்சிபல் இஸ் யூனிவர்சல் பட் ஹவு தட் ஹவு இட் இஸ் ஒர்க் அவுட் த பிரின்சிபல் இஸ் ஒர்க் அவுட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த கல்ச்சர் அந்த நாட்களிலே ஏன் இந்த தலை கவர் பண்ணணும்னு சொன்னாங்கன்னா இந்த ஜூயிஷ் தாட் இஃப் 
a woman comes to the church and prays without her head uh, being covered, she will resemble a prostitute. Or uh, not, not a prostitute, sorry, a person who has committed adultery. So if you are not covering your head, you will adultery commit adultery commit panirkra or nabaraga yenna paduanga adanala you are you you don't you do not want to be seen like that now in the greek thought la vandu you are either a prostitute or a lesbian you are having a different kind of a lifestyle if you do it without head covering ipo vandu jewish people even men cover their heads when they pray we do not cover our heads men do not cover their heads when they pray Western mindset, Western culture, there are Western people who hats. They are wearing hats. So when they come into the church, they will wear hats as a token of respect. Or when they go and see something, or when they see a higher authority, they will actually remove their hats. As you may have read about it, you would have understood. Where you don't wear the hat, but you remove the hat as a sign of respect. So what is it now referring to this covering of head is not a ritual but it is a sign of respect you are respecting a higher authority by doing it that is what it refers to so paul goes on to say here that if a woman does not um, cover her head that means she's saying that she does not respect the authority that god has placed over her Yare, the man. She does not respect the man. And also there's another thing that they, Paul will go on to say, uh, a man ought not to cover his head since he is the image and glory of God, but woman is the glory of man in ritually. So what does it mean now? So we're going to just break it down a little bit. So I talk about covering of head, which is a sign of respect and um, I told you the cultural uh, understanding that people had. So that's why it is said that if you don't cover your head, it's equivalent to uh, having your head shaved. So and you're disrespecting the authority. So it's better to have a hair cut off. Then he talks about how women have long hair, which was the nature of things. And men uh, did not have long hair but long hair itself is not an issue here because sometimes if you do not cut hair it's long hair but again the idea behind it which is the sign of respect a man, a man ought not to cover his head since he is the image and glory of God but woman is the glory of man so how can a woman be the glory of man woman is the glory of man this happens by a couple of things. So when a woman who is respectful of the man, respectful of the man by doing this, she is announcing or the man can walk with his head held high to say that, look at this woman. She brings me glory. She brings me honor by respecting me. Abdi Andre. Woman is the glory of man. Now we have to connect it with the man who is under Christ. And Christ has given man this authority to be the leader at home. So when he, God has given this authority to that man, so in the absence of the man, that glory or that respect needs to be given to the woman. So, I'm hoping to somehow help you to understand that this is no issue of like somebody is subordinate or inferior, that we are all equal in God's eyes, but in terms of the order of authority, in terms of the, for the fact that the society has to function in a peaceful mode, God has created a pattern. He will go on to say, not only woman is the glory of man, for man did not come from woman, but woman from man. So, man did not come from woman, woman from man. What is he talking about? Man did not come from woman. He is asking us to think about Genesis. 
கிரியேஷனில் வந்து அட் த டைம் ஆஃப் கிரியேஷன் ஹூ வாஸ் கிரியேட்டட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மேன் வாஸ் கிரியேட்டட் அண்ட் வேர் டிட் த உமன் கம் ஃப்ரம் ஃப்ரம் த மேன்ஸ் ரிப் காட் டுக் ரிப் அவுட் அண்ட் தென் கிரியேட்டட் த உமன் நவ் but neither was man created for women and now this is very it's a very controversial uh, statement that we can um, we may consider neither was man created for women but woman for man this is god's word will will the society even accept this that the woman is created for the benefit of man and when man abuses woman oh you have to serve me you have to do whatever i want you are for my benefit you are my subordinate is that the sense no that is not the sense because if you go on it will begin to say and the edathile motta vaasthu mudichita the you can begin to think that there's a there's a problem there it is for this reason that a woman ought to have authority over her own head and then i'll read one more thing uh, because of the angels idu vande idu or moonrad karyam because of the angels yen why do you respect the authority because what is happening is uh, according to one biblical scholar when god's children come together and come to worship him ஆவியினாலும் உண்மையினாலும் கர்த்தரை தொழுது கொள்ள வரும் பொழுது வி ஆல் ஆர் கம்மிங் டுகெதர் அண்ட் வி ஆர் ஆல் வர்ஷிப்பிங் காட் ஹூஸ் ஆடியன்ஸ் காட் எஸ் ஹி இஸ் த ஒன் மேன் ஆடியன்ஸ் பட் இஸ் இ தி ஓன்லி ஆடியன்ஸ் நோ தேர் இஸ் அ காஸ்மிக் ரெல்ம் அவுட் தேர் principalities and powers and dark forces are out there they are also watching they are also watching along with god god is watching how we worship but there are principalities as a base here ainda adhikarathile paathringa nandal for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly realms and chola pattirukirathu ephesians chapter 3 la paatha there's another verse which says that god is doing all of this in order to show this cosmic realm that god is victoriously ruling his people and ange ebesir moondathu adhigarathil or vasanam irukirathu so that is what it means by saying that because of the angels there are people the angels are also watching from there in the cosmic realm and re now then he goes on to write this nevertheless in the lord see in the word statement vandirchi adu that settles everything nevertheless so he has already said listen woman you came after man period you didn't come before woman before the man woman was created for the benefit of man why again look at genesis how did god even create a woman he said okay he saw that adam was very lonely and uh, he was walking around alone in the garden and he said okay i want to find a helper suitable for him in fact if you look at that on the creation so di pathinga and andar vandha nariya animals kuda paaka animals ellam paakran adam but no, even in, among the animals nobody could come close to adam to be a helper suitable for him so then god decides i have to create a woman and he creates a woman from the man so that's why woman is created as a helper so this is why there is no subordination here but you are a helper to the vision and the purpose of the man now another important qualification as i enter into the second subject here as it is said nevertheless in the lord in the lord kartar kullaga woman is not independent of man nor is man independent of woman we are interdependent a man cannot live without a woman a woman cannot live without a man it goes on to say for as man came from man for as woman came from man we already established that 
woman was created after man now the kind of, so also man is born of woman so without a woman a man cannot come into this world so you you need both the man and the woman so god created two genders with definite purposes and a definite role for both of them and in the lord they are not independent but they are interdependent they need each other he wants them to live in harmony with one another but in that he has also established an established an order of authority and headship and this headship and this authority is applicable to the home and the church in the political realm in the educational realm in the outside realm it doesn't apply you all can understand that la ellarkum theriyala ethana perku female bosses irukranga ungalku pidikalanalum paravalla but ungalku female boss irupangala yes how many principals uh, in schools have been women and men have to work under a woman yes absolutely possible we have i think uh, if i'm right pepsico ceo is an indian woman indra nui nenaikira indra nui ya nalla sila women aam 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 abdin sonnanga romba sandoshama yes she is a woman yes she has got the talent she has got the ability and she rules so it doesn't apply in that realm but in the realm of the home and the church god says the responsibility lies with the man to be the authority i wish we can question him but we do not have that opportunity but that is how god has designed for a reason and he says there is a role that i give the woman because of how they can function i know what they have been created to do same thing for the man so if we do not exercise our responsibility that's where the breakdown takes place then it goes on then he goes on judge for yourselves is it proper for a woman to pray to god with her head uncovered or does the does not the very nature of things teach you that if a man has long hair it is a pity pastime it is a disgrace to him but that if a woman has long hair it is her glory for long hair is given to her as a covering if anyone wants to be contentious about this see paul inspired word of god he's saying yes ivlo karya na solliruken ipdi da irukano ante yes there will be a debate you want to debate on this but you know what he's saying if anyone wants to be contentious about this we have no other practice guys girls ladies and gentlemen there is no room for negotiation no practice done deal avala dhan pudi idhu dhan andar solli irukkaru idhu dhan na solla pora nor do the churches of god we have no other practice we have no other order or we have no other design i'm sorry i can't open it up for oh, okay what are your thoughts on this what are your thoughts can you please share your opinion no there is no sharing of opinion god has designed it in a particular order that this is how it has to be it goes on to say the second point which is just an application of the this order of authority and then i'm going to explain this so remember as you see this as you see the red lettered christ why did i put that there so the order of authority is woman is supposed to be um, under man man has got responsibility and then christ a uh, man is under christ and christ is under god and if you remember abcr ainda adhigarathai nam vaasika ketum adha paathinga nendal ange solla padugirathu there it talks about uh, relationships between husband and a wife where it said husband love your wives as christ loved the church then submit to one another out of reverence for christ wives should submit to husband just as uh, the church submits to christ endre aneka vasanam solla padugirathu the second principle in god's order and design is this yen ide solle idu adhuk mundra enna solla venum endral ipo nadakkira kaalangalile what has happened is there is a major problem that has happened palaya kaalathil romba naal or 20 30 varshangal idhu munnala ellarum ulunga appadi irundanga ella senjanga ipo irukkira current day situation la we have a husband day care center andalukku switch aayiruchu 
அது என்ன பண்ணிங்கன்னா ஃபார் தோஸ் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ரீட் இஃப் யூ நீட் டைம் டு யுவர் செல்ஃப் வாண்ட் டு கோ ஷாப்பிங் லீவ் யுவர் ஹஸ்பண்ட் வித் அஸ் ஐயோ யாரும் செஞ்சிடாதீங்க அந்த மாதிரி வி லுக் ஆஃப்டர் ஹிம் ஐயோ என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னு தெரில வி லுக் ஆஃப்டர் ஹிம் ஃபார் யூ யூ ஓன்லி பே ஃபார் இஸ் ஃபுட் அண்ட் ட்ரிங்க்ஸ் அப்படின்ட்டு ஒரு அட்வர்டைஸ்மெண்ட் அங்கே ஓடிக்கிட்டு இருக்கு ஒய் டிட் ஐ புட் தேட் இஸ் டு டெல் யூ in our current day things have changed it's not the issue of authority human beings have an issue now with authority in general forget about families who wants to respect authority in school do children grow up uh, wanting to respect the teachers do we have the same respect that you and i had adha ortha sonnaanga epdi irukna ipa andha kaalathula la vande oru teacher vande ஒரு பையனுக்கு சொல்லி கொடுக்கும் போது தலையில் தட்டி ஒழுங்காக படிக்கலாம் ஒழுங்காக படிச்சுட்டோன்னு தலையை தட்டி அனுப்பி வீட்டுக்கு அனுப்பி விட்டால் அப்பா அம்மா வந்து திரும்பி பிள்ளையை கொண்டு வந்து டீச்சர் அடுத்த பக்கத்துலேயும் தலையில் அடித்து ஒழுங்காக நல்லா படிக்க வைங்க சொல்லுவாங்க இப்போ தலையை தொட்டுட்டா வந்துடுவாங்க டச் மை சன் ஹவு கேன் யூ டூ தேட் சி நோ படி வாண்ட் டு ரெஸ்பெக்ட் அத்தாரிட்டி டூ வி வாண்ட் டு ரெஸ்பெக்ட் அத்தாரிட்டி த கவர்மெண்ட் அத்தாரிட்டி ஆர் த ஸ்கூல் ஆர் even police authority ella edhu even in the church nobody wants to listen to somebody else i'm not talking about this particular church i'm so happy because i said certain things and people are responding pomode pastor na oorku porom pastor na vandu or vacation ku poren solli ittu poittu varanga sandoshama அவங்களுக்குலாம் கரெக்டாக நான் டைம் ஃப்ரேம் கொடுத்து ஒரு வாரத்தில் திருப்பி வரணும் அங்கே ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு வாரம்லாம் நீங்கள் வெக்கேஷன் பண்ணக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்லி இருக்கிறேன் அன்பாக அவங்கள ஆசீர்வாதத்தோடு அனுப்பி விட்டு அவங்க திருப்பி வர வரைக்கும் காத்துக்கொண்டு இருக்கிறேன் பட் பீப்புள் பட் சம் பீப்புள் இட் டசன் மேடர் இட்ஸ் நாட் அபவுட் ஹூ இஸ் த பாஸ் இட் இஸ் அபவுட் வி ஆர் ஒன் ஃபேமிலி வி லவ் ஒன் அண்ட் அதர் that is what the church is supposed to be but when you come to church or when i come to sometimes you know eppadi nam paakrom endra oh yura na yura na periya yur mari nammala pesrara yur solra na yen kekkanum or who's the boss no that is not the attitude that you and i need to have we need to respect one another in the order or in the roles for example if there are responsibilities given and you are under a particular leader whoever you are whatever you have done you are responsible to obey that leader avladha and if i have other leaders who are working i need to abide by them if they say this is how i want to do things i should also abide by that it's not that one person is a boss who says and rules this is how it has to be everybody will have to listen to him no it all is um, based on what are the roles or the responsibilities that have been given to you responsibility porup enna porup kodukapatirukka and the porup nam anaivarum seivadhu than important so but the reason why i put this is to say we are living in a time and age where the main issue is not about whether you want to follow this nobody wants to but i'm not talking about generally we are a good uh, obedient uh, in the society we do want to respect but we see in the general realm people do not want to but we need to make sure that we do not allow those things to creep into our way of living we are generally known to be respectful to authority our children should be taught to respect authority no matter what so adutha nam paarkum bolude it's in under god's order it's a order of submission and we all know we read ephesians chapter 5 where it is respect where is where it's very clearly said that the woman is supposed to submit to the husband and the husband is actually has to husband has to love the wife and the order of submission is woman to man and that is within a marital relationship it doesn't mean that you as a woman have to submit to every man out there that is say the say hadi that is not what it means it is only within the marital relationship it is not about the fact that even here ninga evlo correct ah vaasa unga sonda purusha irukkunna vaasthaanga evrum karutha gavanichinga ninga mattravanga purushan ku adangi irukadinga nariya per mattravanga purushan ku adangi irupanga adha husband solvaanga mattravanga purushan ku adangi irukka nammalku adanga matinga abdi naratha solvaangala illa it is unga sonda purusha irukku it's about your relationship with your husband 
and with every other man, it is based on the role and the function you respect, that office of that particular person or that man. So, woman submits to man and man submits to God. So, as you look at it, man and woman together are submitting themselves to God. I told you that I'm going to help you to understand how Christ is under God. Mukyamana Urkariam is Christ equal to God. Yes, he said, the Father and I are one. You know Urkariam Chalirkar. Before Abraham was I. Abraham Kumnadi. Oh, you're, you're claiming that you are God? And then when he forgave sins, who can forgive sins but God? And here Jesus is forgiving sins of the people. So Jesus very clearly claimed that he is God on this earth. But at the same time, Nam Indiki in the Vasanatala Vasto and Navasto that Christ is under God Yendra Vasto. We, we, we read that Christ is under God and the head of Christ or the head of Christ is God in the Vasno. So what does it mean? And I'm going to just show you a couple of verses. So in all of these scriptures, John chapter 3, 5, 14, 17, la pating na, yendra karthu andavar Yesu Christu cholugira enda John 5 la, in fact, yeah, John 5 nam park mordu, or vasanate naan ungulukke kaata virpa padukire in John 5 la, John 5 la parkum bolude, you will understand. He has declared, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working. For this reason, it says in uh, uh, verse 16, My father is working in the Chali. And then he also goes on to say that I only do what my father is doing. I do not do anything that my father is not doing. And the chali, Karthar, Yesu Christi, Tannudiya, Uliyate, Bati, our Chuligirar. He says, because whatever the, um, in verse 19, La Pakam very truly I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing, because whatever the father does, the son also does. So what is happening right here? In the, in the context, Lada, it is uh, clear to us that the Father is the head of Christ. Meaning, though they are equal, co-equal, co-eternal, and they are God, they have different roles that they perform. Our Chegir and the roles, Lamande, Christ has got a particular role. And the role that he does is, whatever the father tells me to do, that's what I would do. And that is how he is submitting himself to God the Father's leadership. See, he submitted to God the Father's leadership. You are able to understand how very clearly in this one, where there are several verses, because of time I will not go through all of them, but there are similar verses in chapter 14 and 17. 17, 11, Verse 3, I have finished the work that you have given me to do. I have finished the work and I have brought glory to you by doing the work that you have given me to do. His last prayer, his prayer to God, he's saying, God, you gave me some work to do. I have finished it and I am bringing glory to you. I have brought glory to you. I have brought glory to you. In that way, he was submitted to what God wants him to do. He did not do anything of his own. It is in that understanding that you and I are called to submit to one another in our relationships. And Christ has set an example. Yes, Christ is the one who 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 is the one. I have no plan. I have no agenda. And the ultimate example, Matthew chapter 26, when he went and he did his prayer at Gethsemane, even there, Father, if it's your will, let this cup pass from me. 
என்று சொல்லி அவர் ஜெபித்தார் இந்த பானம் என்னை என்னை விட்டு நீங்கள் படட்டும் என்று சொன்னார் பட் வாட் இஸ் இ டூ அகெயின் தேர் ஹி சப்மிட்ஸ் அண்ட் சஸ் நாட் மை வில் பட் யோ வில் பி டன் you see the submission of christ to god god the father has sent jesus to be a propitiation and an atonement for us and to die on the cross and when jesus was struggling to walk that path though he knew that that is why he came to this earth for adarku than avar inda ulagathukku vandar that was his purpose even then when he was in his humanity struggling he said not my will what you will i submit lord i submit philippier rendad adhigarathile it is called the christ him endu solluvargal idu vandu or arumiyana or pagudi again which it talks about uh, christ submission to god in philippians chapter 2 it is called the christ him idu vandu by itself it was being circulated in the early church idu vandu or paadalaga in the aindil end 11 vasanangal vandu or paadalaga early church la paadi paadi kondu vaasthu kondu irundargal and what does it say in 2 5 through 11 paakum bolude who being in very nature god who jesus did not consider equality with god something to be used to his own advantage rather see voluntary submission he made himself nothing how by taking the very nature of a servant our on the he is god he is in nature god but he did not consider that to be an advantage to him he made himself nothing made himself to be like a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on a cross so because of this voluntary submission of christ who said i will go down i will be your example i will i will give my life and actually andavar yesu christ varumbolude now it said therefore god exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father though he was in very nature god though he was god he did not consider equality with god he did not consider it to be an advantage but he humbled himself ore ore servant aga ore velai seigira uliyanaga avar thanai thaalti avar oppu koduthe siluvai mattum avar sendru thanaiye oppu kodutha padinaale god exalted him that is the example that you and i have of submission to one another it is not that an issue of superiority inferiority you are my subordinate i am your superior no there is no issue of value between a man and a woman nevertheless in the lord we are not independent of each other we are interdependent but within god's order and design this is how he has established society where a woman is under the headship of a man and man is under christ and christ is under god and when we follow this order of submission of woman and a man and as i told you this is applicable in these two realms in the homes in the home setting and in the church setting because this letter was written to a church it's not written to everybody and when you follow this pattern there will be peace and harmony in all of those places and that is god's design and order for humanity may we receive it and may we live according to it so that we may enjoy the blessings that come by following god's order and design for us let's pray father we thank you for this day we thank you for making it so clear to us that we are called to live according to what you have ordered and designed for us help us lord engal ovvoru orkum neer udavi seyyum yesu naamathinalai chebikrom amen